for the last few months on my videos, I've been talking about a big change coming to my camping setup. Well, after a two month wait and a seven hour drive from Arizona to Southern Utah, we finally picked it up. After extensive research of dozens of teardrops and mini campers, I still kept coming back to Zion off-road. There were a lot of reasons why, but I'll do a separate video on that. Levi, the owner of Zion, and along with his brother Eon, were amazing in all aspects of this decision and gave a great tour of the warehouse and the trailers they build. I will do another video on that as well. I left the warehouse with the trailer in tow behind a forerunner, and we headed to their favorite camping spot about 45 minutes from the shop promised not to reveal the location that they shared when we got there. We can see why. All right, we just changed camp spots. We went up about 50 feet. A little bit better view than the other one. This is our, our fire pit right here, but right beyond the fire pit wall is that drop. Let's hope Loki's gonna be a good boy. Joe's gonna set up camp right here. I'm a little bit down. I'm gonna have to level the trailer out. So we'll see how that goes. Good news is there's a level inside the trailer to help me out. And we'll go set it up, see if we can get that straight. So I've been up since 3.30 this morning. I've been traveling to uh, from Arizona to southern Utah to go pick this trailer up. It's about 5 p.m. We haven't really eaten or anything, so we're just going to try to get set up fast so we can eat and then just chill out by the fire. Just picked up a new fridge freezer. This one's uh, the smaller one. This is the Bouge RV. That's the one I take on when I go on shorter camping trips. And then I have the 50 liter Iceco for the longer trips. Actually, the company just sent it to me to try out. I'm not even sure they released it yet or it's just got released, but this is, I think it's a 16 liter. It's a single zone, so you can use it as a fridge or a freezer. Right now I'm trying it out. Uh, I have it set as a freezer, so I'm keeping ice in there. I have ice cream sandwiches and some ice packs. Uh, that's going to probably be my setup for summer camping, is to keep everything frozen in there and then use either this one or the ice co for uh, the refrigerated items. So that'll be the refrigerator and then my freezer setup. So far, so good. Uh, it is holding at zero degrees 
and this one I have set for I think 39 degrees so I have the refrigerator items and then the freezer items in the set power Zion off-road trailer. This is basically the stage four that I customized a little bit. And we're already full of clay on the tires. <laughs> but I'm gonna do a full walk around on this trailer at some point. But for right now, this is a quick look. I had to use the stabilizer jacks to level this thing out. First night in the camper, we just picked it up yesterday, and uh, we're probably about 5,000 elevation or so uh, on the top of a cliff in Utah, and it's about 39 degrees outside right now. Uh, inside the trailer was 45 degrees, and I had two layers on. I bought a down comforter from home, and I don't know if it was the insulation inside the trailer or the comforter or a combination of both but I was actually hot in there I took I took a layer off in the middle of the night and I cracked the window open to get some airflow so that's good that I was able to keep warm my brother is now here I'll show you where he is he's in his truck because he was in a tent last night and he is cold so he's trying to warm up it is a little chilly out here, but the camper did keep me nice and warm, so that's a good thing. And uh, once the sun rises, it's supposed to be pretty nice out. So we're gonna get warm, have a little coffee, and we'll decide if we're gonna stay another night here, go somewhere else, or head home with the camper. I hopped back in the trailer just to get warm again for a few more minutes, and I had an unexpected visitor. Loki decided that he was a little cold and wanted to warm up himself, so he hopped in and hung out for just a little bit. With hot coffee in hand, we watched the beautiful sunrise and made a decision. We were going to head back to Arizona today, but first, we wanted to explore the land just a little bit more.
thank you guys for taking your time and joining us today. I am very excited to talk more about this trailer and the reasons why it's so unique and why I chose it. I will be doing a video on a full walk around on the features. Also, Joe has since changed from a ground tent to a rooftop tent on his Tacoma. This week, we're gonna be testing that one out and I'll do some videos on that one as well. If you're new, please hit subscribe and join us on the next adventures. And remember guys, life begins where the pavement ends. I'll see you in the next one.